This is part 6 of Angular CRUD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss working with radio buttons in Angular template driven forms. So here is what we want to do. We want to include gender radio buttons within our create employee form. When we select the gender of an employee using one of these radio buttons, we want the selected radio button value to be part of the Angular generated form model. Along the same lines, when we click the save button, we want the selected gender value to be logged to the browser console. At the moment, on our create employee form, we have full name and email form controls. Along with both of them, we also need gender radio buttons. So let's flip to Visual Studio Code and within our create employee component view template, let's make a copy of this email form group and then we'll change the bits that are required. So first of all, we want to change the label here to gender because we want to display gender radio buttons. We don't want the four attributes, so I'm going to get rid of that from there. And then inside this div, I'm going to create another div. And I'm going to use a different class here. So this is going to be form control. Again, this is bootstrap CSS class for styling. And then let's move this input element inside that div and this is going to be let's actually get rid of all these attributes and then use the attributes that are required for our radio button to get a radio button we use input type radio and we want this to have a value of mail so what this value attribute is required because this is what is posted to the server when we submit our form so inside this div element with class form control we have an input radio button and we also want a label and let's move the closing label right here so inside the label we have our radio button and we want this label to display mail okay so this is the text that will be displayed against this mail radio button the value is mail with a lowercase m and this is the text that is displayed to the user now to get another radio button for female so let's make a copy of that and let's change the text here to female and obviously we also have to change the corresponding value and then we want these radio buttons to be displayed next to each other in line so I'm going to use a class on this label and this is going to be radio dash inline let's do the same thing on the other radio button label save our changes and then take a look at the browser notice we have the gender radio buttons as expected but there are two problems when I select gender notice it's not part of the angular generated form model when I type into the email form control it's part of the generated form model and similarly full name is but this gender is not the second problem is these radio buttons are not mutually exclusive, meaning I can select both of them at the same time. And that's not the behavior we want. We want these radio buttons to be mutually exclusive. To make them mutually exclusive, all we have to do is include name attribute on both the radio buttons and set them both to the same value. In this case, we have set it to gender. So both these radio buttons are part of the same group, which makes them mutually exclusive. Now notice when I select male and then if I try to select female, the other radio button is automatically deselected. So that's the behavior we want. We still have the second problem, that is this gender is not part of this Angular generated form model. To make it part of the Angular generated form model, all we have to do is include ng model directive on both these radio buttons. Let's save our changes and then take a look at the browser. The form is reloading. Notice when I select male, the selected gender value is part of the Angular generated form model as expected. Now let's launch browser developer tools. Fill in full name and email as well. And then click the save button. We have the form logged to the console. If we scroll down a bit and then take a look at the value property, its value is an object. And when we expand that, we see the gender property value logged to the console. Now let's include another text box to capture the employee phone number. Since it's a text box, it's going to be very similar to email form group. 
So let's paste that here and then change the bits that are required. So first of all, the text here has to say phone number and then let's give this input element an ID. Let's call it phone number because that's what we are capturing here. And then this label is for this input element. So let's change the for attribute to phone number. And along the same lines, let's actually bring the rest of the properties right here to the next line. So ng model is also going to be phone number. Name is also phone number. Let's save our changes and then take a look at the browser. Notice we have the phone number text box displayed as expected. Now we want to include another field on our form and I'm going to call it contact preference and the contact preference can be either email or phone number. So we want another set of radio buttons just like gender. So I'm going to paste in some HTML here for contact preference set of radio buttons and this HTML is very similar to gender. So I'm going to save the changes and then let's take another look at the browser. Notice we have our contact preference radio buttons as well. So as we type into these form controls, look at what happens to the Angular auto-generated form model. First of all, name is included in the form model. Similarly, email and then phone number. Let's set it to 12345 and then our contact preference. Notice contact preference is email when the email radio button is selected. Similarly, when I select phone, it's phone and gender also works the same way. And when we click the save button, it should have been logged to the console. So let's launch browser developer tools. Notice we have the form. Let's expand that, scroll down, and then we should have the value property, which is an object. Let's expand that. And we can see all our properties, contact preference, email, full name, gender, phone number. So we have just seen how to work with radio buttons in Angular. Here is the HTML for these two gender radio buttons. Thank you for listening and have a great day.